afternoon folks, Big Bo here with another great Class B Plus slash Class C value from Parkway RV Center. Folks, I love these little four wind siestas. We've had a few of them over the years. These are a well-built, well-designed little motorhome. Uh, yeah, a lot of people call these Class B Pluses because they're bigger than a Class B camper van, but they're smaller than a Class C motorhome. Plus, they're better on fuel because you don't have that cab over uh, creating all that drag and slowing you down. It's more aerodynamic. You're going to get better fuel mileage in the sea, but you still get a lot of interior space. This is a 2007 Four Winds Siesta model number 29BG. 29 foot long. It has three slide outs. You're not going to see many motorhomes this size with three slide outs. Excellent condition. It only has 21,000 miles. Price thousands under NADA. I'm going to show you a printout here in a minute. This is a great looking little motorhome, folks. All three slide outs have awning toppers. It's got that bulletproof Ford chassis with that 6.8 liter Triton V10. 305 horsepower, 420 pound feet of torque. It's got the 4K Onan generator with only 260 hours on it. I've got the motor running, I've got the generator running, powering everything on this RV. And I'm going to tell you folks, I wish I had a hundred of these on my lot, but it's just hard to find them this far under book with this low of miles and this nice shape. Look at the gloss that's still on this. You can tell this thing's been garage kept, not only by the condition of the gloss on it, but the condition of the striping and finished. You know, I've got 2009 and 10 models that the striping's already starting to crack on. This one right here has been kept under cover. It looks great. I mean, there's no peeling, no cracking. There's no, it's no scuff marks on it where, you know, a lot of these motorhomes, people back into gas stations and stuff like that. So you always want to look at the rear corners. That'll tell you. This one here has no dents or dings, nothing like that. You can tell they've never hit anything with it. It's got an awning, power step, Michelin tires, Everything on this motorhome works folks. I just I mean we haven't even checked it out I just cranked the generator up turned everything on cranked the motor up and everything I found is working perfectly And of course, you know anything we sell folks my RV techs will spend a few days on go completely through it top to bottom front to back Before you take possession of it and show you everything on it works but uh, right now folks, this is what I can tell you and and for my guys too, this one's going to be an easy checkout because everything I see works perfectly. Great looking little motorhome, folks. 29 foot is a great size. I like it because it's big enough that two people can go out and spend a long period of time in it on long trips and be comfortable. But it's not so big that you have a hard time driving it and a hard time getting a spot in a, in a state park or an older campground. I mean, 29 foot to me is just a perfect couple size motor home because if you want to take a three month road trip together in it, you're not going to kill each other. You're going to have plenty of room to be comfortable. And if you're on a rainy day or something like that, you're not going to get cabin fever in a 29 foot with three slides because you're going to have a lot of space. And be honest with you folks, a 29 foot, if you drive a 23 foot and you drive a 29 foot, you can't tell a nickel's worth of difference driving them and parking them. Not with the way these are designed and the way they drive. It's got the 450 chassis, so you got the wider wheelbase for greater driving stability. It's got Ford's, and on top of that 6.8 liter Triton V10, it's got Ford's uh, torque shift transmission, the five-speed transmission, automatic. That is their version of an Allison transmission. It's heavy duty. Folks, I've seen motorhomes with the V10 and the torque shift transmission that have 200,000 miles on them. People are still using them. And because they are built to last, built forward tough, and that's what you want to see in a little motorhome. But with only 21,000 miles, you're never going to wear this machine out. You can take this thing cross country a couple of times a year for the next 10 years and still be using this thing 10 years from now. Power step works great. I'm going to tell you the carpet, the upholstery, everything in here is 100% factory original uh, as far as the interior. I've only seen one little modification in the bathroom, which I'll show you here in a minute. But inside, folks, nice and quiet. I've got the motor and the generator running now. It's nice and cool in here. Even the dash air is cold. And, and I'm going to tell you, most people, because they never use dash airs, because they run the generator, run the roof air, that's something that barely, rarely works. But 
I mean, this thing is blowing. I mean, of course, I'm, it is blowing ice cold. Look at that, folks. And I'm, I'm three or four foot away from the vent, and I'm blowing low 40s. And if I get down here right on it, it's going to get even colder. So, I mean, we're out there. We're, we're under 40 degrees right there. 21,600 miles. You can see for yourself. No brake lights, no check engine lights. Notice the backup camera works great. It's built into the sun visor. It's got comfortable leather chairs. So this is something on a long trip that you're going to be very comfortable in. Plenty of cup holders, all factory stereo, CD and cassette. Glass is perfect. Windshield is perfect. There's no cracks or rock dings in it. The roof air is ducted and it is ice cold. I'm going to tell you folks, this is a, uh, I mean look at that. We're blowing, and keep in mind it's it's hot outside, but it's 38 degree air coming out of the. I mean, wow, still dropping. Unreal, folks. And thank, and a lot of that is thanks to the four season insulation. It's got the uh, heavy duty padded roof uh, in the inside that really helps insulate it, keeps the temperature hot or cool, however you want it. And uh, that's one reason why that air gets so cold because that duct works in that insulated roof and it really makes a difference. Uh, blowing out mid upper 30s out of the roof air. I like the leather sleeper sofa because this is something that's gonna make a bed, but it's also gonna be a comfortable place to sit during the day. That's not the just old rough leather. That is that real soft buckskin leather. I mean, I could stretch out and take a nap on that very, very easily. You've got a table booth, which is perfect for two people. It also makes a little bed, so you can sleep up to six people. It's got the nice light fixtures. Look at this carpet, folks. We just had it professionally clean like we do all of our RVs. Didn't even really need it, but we just do that automatically and everything that comes in. Uh, the linoleum's all original. Looks great. Solid hardwood cabinet. Notice it's got the hidden hinges, so... They give you a lot less trouble. You open this up. Another thing that's hard to find anymore is books and manuals. I don't know why people like to keep them, but about half the RVs we have out here, the used RVs, there's no books and manuals in them. And I, I don't know why, because if I'm selling one or trading one, I have no use for the books and manuals. And I don't know why people keep them for souvenirs or what, but this one does have the books and manuals in it. Uh, microwave, it's got the LP stove top and oven. Doesn't look like it's ever been used. Stainless steel double sink. It's got the nice fluorescent lighting throughout the entire RV. Generator's running right now. Look at that, folks. 264 hours. I've seen these 4K Onan generators with over 3,000 hours on them, so you're never going to wear this generator out. Uh, TV's built into the cab over, so you got a nice place to watch television. And... Let's see what else we got up here. Just a little privacy curtain. And here's all your electronics. And, uh, wow. I'll even throw in the Superman the movie box. Of course, the movie's probably in there. But, <laughs> but anyway, you got a uh, VCR, DVD player, um, crossover. This is nice because it does have a rear TV. And what you can do, you can put Superman in and... Um, <laughs> Watch it in the back TV if you want to. You don't have to have a separate VCR or DVD player in the bedroom. Good, nice thing at crossover. I've got one in mine. I mean, the back of the seats aren't ripped, you know, where people have forgot to slide them up when they bring the rooms in. Somebody has taken just exceptional care of this RV, and that's what you want to see. I mean, if you, it doesn't matter how cheap the RV is. If it's not been taken care of, if it's been rough, it's dirty, chances are they've not maintained it done the service like they're supposed to it doesn't matter how cheap it is folks that's the ones you want to stay away with when you get a nice uh, stay away from when you get a nice and clean one like this with 21,000 miles 264 hours on the generator that looks as good as this one does it's clean you know you're gonna have this is a winner hands down I mean it is just exceptional RV uh, and I'm gonna tell you folks back here. I mean, this is a small motor home, but this is a huge bedroom for a small motor home. For original factory bedspread, notice it's not frayed or worn out or got stains on it. Somebody has taken just really great care. All the day night shades work, they're in great shape. And with that slide out in here, look at all this storage you get. I mean, hanging closets, good solid doors, hidden hinges. Of course, 
That's your bin number 0729 BG4 Wind Siesta. Uh, at the bottom here, all this storage, there's storage underneath the bed. Got a little 9 inch or 13 inch TV right here. Drawer space over the bed, there's storage. It's hard to believe that this is only a little 29 foot motorhome and you got all this storage in it. Walk around queen bed. You got a privacy curtain right here if you want to separate the bedroom from the rest of the RV. Split bathroom. Here's that modification, folks. They built a little uh, stool right there for, for you to rest your feet on when you're sitting on the uh, toilet. So that's the only other modification I see on this RV. Uh, you've got a nice vanity area, nice stainless bathroom sink, medicine cabinet. I mean, you can look around all the vents, all the skylights, no signs of leak or leak damage anywhere. Somebody has really kept this RV up. The roof's been serviced like it's supposed to. I mean, this is something that is going to give you years and years of solid performance. Another nice feature, if you want to separate the bathroom from the rest of the RV, the bathroom and the bedroom, this door doubles as a privacy screen, so it latches into place there. And that's going to give you the entire bedroom and bathroom to get ready in. Or you can close the curtain and completely enclose the bedroom from the rest of the RV. Folks, this is just a super nice, clean RV. It's only got 21,000 miles, 264 hours on the generator. And you look online, there's very, very few of these style motorhomes for sale use because people keep these and they run the wheels off of them. They're so easy to drive and park that people jump in them, use them for the weekends, use them for day trips. That's why most of them you see have 60, 70, 80,000 miles on them because people use them a lot more than the big ones because they're so easy to jump into and drive and park. I mean, this is something, if you can drive a full-size van, you can drive this motorhome without any problem. And people use them more. Like I said, that's why, you know, to see one of these with 70, 80,000 miles is nothing unheard of. This particular one's only got 21,000 miles, so it's going to be one of the few rare ones that you're going to see that has low miles. I'm only asking 39.9. I mean, you look at the NADA yourself, folks, and I'll show it to you. I do two of them. I always show one without any options, even though it's worth more than this. As you can see, it was seventy thousand dollars new, counting not counting any extra options on it. Um, forty-eight thousand one hundred, forty-eight thousand two hundred dollars average retail. That's just adjusting for the twenty-one thousand miles. No other options, folks. That's incredible. You can buy a motorhome like this with three slides, twenty-one thousand miles, in just one of the hardest to find categories there is or class of RVs that there is, something that perfect couples motorhome, and you can buy it for $8,300 back of NADA base book. And folks, other dealers are not going to sell it this cheap. I mean, other dealers have their, have these things priced over retail. With When you have one with low miles, they always ask more than retail book for them. Average retail as equipped including like the rear vision camera monitor, a few other little things. It's got $51,723. Folks, that's, you know, <laughs> 10000 11000 almost $12,000 under NADA retail. $12,000. That's no chump change right there when you can save $12,000. You look online at other dealerships, these things start out with more miles for almost $50,000. You can buy this one for under forty grand in just absolutely spotless, light new condition with 21,000 miles in beautiful shape, everything guaranteed to work. You're buying it for twelve grand under NADA, it's a no-brainer. Deals like this is why Parkway RV Center has been the best place to buy a used RV for almost 50 years. That's right, folks. Third generation, family owned and operated since way back in 1968. That's over 47 years ago that we started selling used RVs. We currently sell over 500 a year. We're one of the highest volume strictly used RV dealers in the industry, folks. We're recognized nationwide. We've been in magazines. I mean, we're the best place to buy and we don't just sell local people I mean if we just sold local buyers we would have sold everybody in Chattanooga Tennessee area in RV decades ago 
but folks we sell nationwide because we can save if we can save you twelve thousand dollars off what other dealers are wanting for the same make and model rv with more miles isn't it worth spending a few hundred dollars to fly in here from anywhere in the country because i mean i had a guy fly in from san diego california to buy one that flew in for about 400 bucks and we picked him up at the chattanooga tennessee airport brought him here and he drove his rv home with a smile on his face had a nice trip great experience and saved he said he saved over fifteen thousand dollars buying an rv from us over what they were bringing in california that's why we sell so many RV folks. You, you can't beat our prices. And we sell 500 plus used RVs a year and these people come from all over the country not just because they like us. It's because we have the lowest prices and we save them a lot of money and that's why they travel thousands of miles to buy RVs from us. And I promise you folks, uh, you're not gonna find a better deal out there on a low mileage class B plus motorhome. Uh, not only do we have the lowest prices on the internet we have no extra fees no dock fees no prep fees no dealer fees whatsoever you know the only thing we charge folks if you buy if you're a georgia resident you'll pay georgia sales tax other than that there's no extra fees out-of-state buyers of course pay sales tax when they title the rv in your home state but other than that folks we have no extra fees you know you go to these other rv dealerships you're going to pay several thousand more for the same RV, they're going to charge you to check it out. They're going to charge you a prep fee, seven, eight hundred dollars. They're going to charge you three or four hundred dollars to do the paperwork. They're going to charge you one hundred fifty dollars for a temporary tag. I mean, it's just absolutely ridiculous. Biggest RV dealer in the world, the one who sponsors NASCAR, who has thousands or hundreds of dealerships nationwide, they charge up to eighteen hundred dollars in fees on every motorized RV that they sell. And what they don't tell their customers, and what these other dealers don't tell their customers is that all those fees are completely unnecessary to purchase a used or even a brand new RV and they are 100% dealer profit. So just to add salt on the wound, these dealers are, are, are getting several thousand dollars more for the same RV and then charging you a couple of grand in fees just to rub salt on the wound. That's not how we do business, folks. That's not the way my grandfather wanted us to do business when he started this place back in 1968. You know, he taught us that if you have the lowest prices on used RVs in, on, in the country, that people will come from thousands of miles away. And that's because we saved them so much money. In fact, even back then in the late 60s and early 70s, folks, he used to advertise in, in newspapers all over the United States because that was before we had internet. And we sold them just back then, just like we do now, all over the country because people could save so much money. And uh, now, of course, everything's internet and online, so we sell even more because we can save you so much money. And he had a favorite saying, and this is kind of our unofficial business motto. And he said that if you price your RVs less than anybody else, of course, you, people will come from thousands of miles. But one of his favorite sayings is, we, if you make your dollar with 10 dimes instead of four quarters, you still make your dollar at the end of the day, and people are happier because they bought it for less. What he meant by that is, folks, is at the end of the day, we still make our dollar. We don't make near as much on every RV that we sell like the big dealers do, but we sell more. And that's what high volume is all about. I mean, we have to sell 10 RVs to make what they make on four, but we get customer loyalty that's just unsurpassed, and that really humbles me every day, folks. I've got families that live several hundred miles away that have been buying RVs from us for over 40 years. Uh, I've got customers who have been lifelong customers of ours. I've talked about for decades. And you don't, you can't buy that kind of loyalty, folks. And the reason why is because they can't beat our prices. They love our customer service. They love the fact we don't have commission salespeople, so you don't have to deal with all those high-pressure stuff. You know, commission salespeople are for those dealerships that have high prices, and they have to have these slick-talking salespeople to talk you into the RV before they even price it to you. And that's why a lot of RV dealers don't even put prices in their ad. They want you to call so they can have their contact information and drive you batty until you buy an RV from them. You don't have to worry about that here, folks. My salespeople are salary based only. That way there's 100% no pressure. And the reason behind that, folks, and why we've done that for 47 years is simple. When you have the lowest prices on RVs on the internet or in the country, there's no selling involved. I mean, why should I pay somebody to sell something that nobody's going to find anywhere else any cheaper? 
It just doesn't make sense. My salespeople answer questions. If you need help with financing or trade-ins, we help you with that. And uh, they help schedule a pickup or delivery time. And folks, we do offer nationwide delivery. My very experienced RV drivers, I'm talking about drivers with years and thousands of miles under their belt, hauling and driving motorhomes and travel trailers and fifth wheels, will deliver this RV anywhere in the country and you just pay whatever it costs us to bring it to you. Doesn't matter if it's 3,000 miles away, folks. We'll deliver it right to you and you just pay exactly what it cost me, not a dime more. No profit on delivery and plus you're getting delivered by people with very with a lot of experience with RVs, not some Yahoo that's on the uship.com that has never hauled an RV or drove an RV before who you have no idea whether your investment's going to make it there in one piece or not. You don't have to worry about that with my drivers and they'll do it for less. I have great finance options, folks. You know, when you've got an RV like this, it's $12,000 under NADA, you really can't go wrong. I mean, you've got this much equity right off the bat. I have a couple of different finance options with approved credit, of course. Uh, 60 months at 2.5% with approved credit. That's on the full retail amount of up to $51,000. So you can actually borrow extra money on this RV if you want to, or I can get you up to 180 months 15 year financing with approved credit for an extra low payment. Now, depending on your credit, that may require a 10% down payment. But I'm going to tell you folks, you can't beat our financing. You can't beat our prices. Definitely can't beat our customer service. And that's why we've been in business for almost half a century. Come out and check out this 07 Siesta. I, I think you'll really love it. You're not going to find anything wrong with it. Everything works. Uh, refrigerator works too now we'll guarantee you that I haven't had it on long enough for it to get cold but it we will guarantee the refrigerator and freezer to work and it actually you know what I think it's cold enough now to show you a temperature because I, I just want you to know because I know chances are this is going to sell sight unseen look at that folks it's already right at freezing and this refrigerator's only been on an hour so that refrigerator is ice ice cold it's going to work perfectly it's going to get even colder but folks, I do this because I know we're going to sell this thing sight unseen, so I want everybody to know exactly what they're getting, which is a nice motor home with low miles, with no visible defects at all. And we're going to make sure that everything mechanical and RV-wise on it works perfectly. Give us a call. Our phone number is 706-965-7929. Evenings and Sundays, you can get sales help at 423-605-6747 websites parkwayrvcenter.com we have about 150 used rvs in stock at the lowest prices on the internet uh, folks check out our website give our non-commissioned salespeople a call because you're going to be surprised how much money we can save you and uh, i'm going to tell you it's it's we're one of those places that once you buy an rv from us you'll always come back to us for your rvs you're going to send your friends and family to us because that's how we operate Thank you for watching my video. If you want to fly in, as I said before, we'll pick you up at the Chattanooga, Tennessee airport for free during business hours. Uh, we can also, uh, if you want to rent a car to get to us, we'll help you drop the car off at our rental car terminal. If you need to buy a tow dolly, folks, we can help you with that as well. Or if you need to rent a tow dolly, we can uh, get in touch with U-Haul with you and uh, set up a time and help you pick it up as well. Thank you for watching. Hope to see you soon in beautiful Ringgold, Georgia.